Want to learn how to make your feature phone have smartphone capabilities, such as email and fast web browsing? Well, then watch this video and you'll find the answer. Okay, so this video is on how to get smartphone type things, smartphone type applications rather, onto your regular feature phone. The phone I'm using here is AT&T Samsung Impression. Um, so the web browsing, like Opera Mini that I'm going to show you, will require um, a full screen version. Uh, download link in the description for that jar file. Um, and all the downloads for all the apps will be in the description as well. And note that on any touchscreen phone, including this, you will need to have the full screen version of Opera Mini. So, let's go to the first thing. Email. What most smartphones have over feature phones. Now you probably think you can only check your mobile email. Stupid AT&T application that only lets you check uh, certain providers or whatever provider you have. Um, but with this application called Movamail that's free for 30 days and only $3 a month after that, you can check any POP3 email or IMAP, which is very good. And it loads relatively fast. I'm on 3.5G or HSDPA speed. And you can have multiple uh, mailboxes. For instance, I have a me.com. Um, email address. I also have my Gmail for my account from here. So it gives you a wide variety. So the download link for Mova Mail is in the description. It is a jar file. Uh, so yeah. The next thing smartphones have over regular phones is fast web browsing. Opera Mini is one of the fastest web browsers that you can get on your mobile phone and it's free. While there is a paid version that is a little bit better, Opera Mobile, this is still a great browser for it. So it's basically just an app that you download and let's go into Opera Mini. There also is a lot of functionality tools in this that makes it great for smartphones and feature phones alike. For instance you can mark your own bookmarks on your speed dial as Opera calls it and if you have Opera 9.5 I believe on your computer then you can sync all your bookmarks from your computer to your mini through something called Opera Link. You have to make um, an account on Opera Link and that's how you do that. Also, let's go to some popular websites and show you how fast it loads and note that I am on HSDPA speeds. This is Facebook. As you can see, the Penguins won the Stanley Cup. And, uh, yeah. So basically, if you have a touchscreen phone, click in the sidebar for the download for the full screen version. And if you have a regular button style phone, then click in the description for the regular download link. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to sync your calendar from iCal onto your phone through GCal, a service by Google. For this, I'm going to need the computer. Okay, now that we're on the computer, you want to go to a website called www.calgoo.com slash connect slash index slash dot do. This link will be in the description, so don't worry. So then you download the application Calgoo Connect. You can sync automatically in the background, and you can have settings to sync at certain times when the program's open. You can merge PC, Mac, and online calendars. You can keep your own calendar program, such as iCal, and you can sync Outlook, iCal, Google, and lots more. So you need to create an account on here with your email, username, and password, of course. And then you download the program. But first, we need to do one more thing to get this ready for our new fake smartphone. Alright, now that you download the Calgo Connect application for either Windows or Mac, Go to google.com slash calendar, and it'll come up with this. It's a beta program, but it still works. For this, you need to have a Google account, or you can create one. Okay, now that we're done creating our account, you come up with a calendar. Now, don't worry about this yet. 
but we're now we're going to go to the settings so what you need to do is go to settings at the top go to mobile setup and set up your phone number as uh, set and select your carrier and then it'll send you a verification code through text message so I'll do all that then open up Calgary Connect and then I'll show you what to do next now open up Calgu Connect. Now it'll first say my connector. What you need to do is make another connector. So you already have one, but I'll make a new one just to show you guys. So first you go to this connect you go to this icon, add a new connector, or control W. So if you're syncing iCal, obviously you do sync iCal with Google cal Calendar. Um and do whatever you want. So since that's what we're doing, we'll go next. We'll name it My Connector 2 since I already have one. And it'll lo automatically load all your Apple iCal calendars that you have saved to your computer. Okay, now that you have all your calendars loaded, select one, click next, and enter your Google Calendar information. Click next after that. And you can create a new one or use one of your old ones. Create a name and description for it. Okay, now that we have that one done, click Next again. And I'll create a new Google Calendar. Click Next. And click Synchronize Now. Finish.